Hello. This video is designed to help you understand how the LDRA tool suite can be used to achieve compliance with ISO 26262, no matter what ASIL you're working towards. We're going to cover what the standard is and also how you can achieve compliance with it using the LDRA tool suite. So for anyone unaware, ISO 26262 is a standard which is intended to be applied to safety related systems in series production road vehicles. Compliance for this standard is being mandated more and more by the day, making it extremely important to know how best you can cover it. The tool we're going to be using for this is known as TB Manager. TB Manager is a compliance management tool that is designed to help reduce both your cost and your time to market. In this video, we're going to see how we can achieve ISO 26262 compliance using TB Manager. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to import our ISO 26262 standard. There are a number of different standards built into TB Manager, including the different ASILs of our ISO 26262. We can see here we have our part six. Part six is the software section of our standard. And as we work our way down the tree, we can see our first objective for this industry standard, enforcement of low complexity. Now TB Manager is designed with a number of different suggested place markers. So these are artifacts or assets I may want to add in order to achieve compliance with this objective. In this case, the first is design and coding guidelines document. For this project, we're using MISRA C 2012. I have the document here and it's simple enough to drag and drop onto our placeholder. So that's attached our MISRA C 2012 PDF. Next up, metrics threshold file. Well, this is the file we were using to set the metrics threshold for the quality of our code. The last two are output files. And these are the reports we had produced when running our project through other sections of the LDRA tool suite, whenever we were doing static analysis. So for our code review report and quality review report, we can simply bring these in by adding external document, looking for where we have them saved, scroll to the bottom, and we can see we now have these two documents in our view. Same as before, simply drag and drop these onto our different placeholders. Now with all of these filled, I'm happy that I've achieved um, or covered this particular objective. So I can set its status to be fulfilled. So as you can see, very quickly and easily, we've already fulfilled the first objective within our ISO 26262 standard. The next area we can have a look at are our requirements. Now these are the requirements for our actual project. In this case, I have a number of different system level requirements. Those are mapped onto high level requirements and in turn are mapped onto low level requirements. Now there are a number of different ways in which you can bring in your requirements. In this case, I used Word and Excel, but there are many other tools that you can do this with. One thing we may want to do with our requirements is make sure that we have no missing coverage between them. And that's very easy to do. We can, for example, compare our high level requirements and produce a report against our low level requirements. These reports are not only useful for checking coverage, but also for making uh, use of documentation. We can see here we have our high level requirement and this is mapped on with our low level requirement. And scrolling down through this, we can already see here we have some missing coverage. So we have three high level requirements which have no mapping onto any low level requirements. This is something obviously that I need to improve on before I move forward in my project. Now, once I am happy that my requirements coverage is all filled, I can move on and look at the code for my requirements. 
One of the other areas in the LDRA tool suite, TB Vision, allows us to bring our code in and statically analyze it. TB Manager can connect to these other tools and give us the information that we need. So over on our right hand side, we have our project, we have the code, and we have the functions. It's very simple to again drag and drop the functions and put them onto our requirements and map those together. If we want to have a look and see the traceability from our requirements right the way down to our code, we can produce a report going from system level right the way down to procedures. If we select a particular procedure, we can see the low level, high level, and system level requirements in the up and downstream traceabilities for that particular procedure. The next section we may want to have a look at once we've added in the code that we want um, for our requirements is to look at different tests in order to show that this code is compliant. Working our way down, we can see we've attached a particular test onto our low level requirement with the code it has working and we can select to regress this test. Once the test is successfully run, it will then attach the report onto the particular requirement it was run against. Again, keeping all of our information together in one tool, making it very effective when we want to come to compliance for our ISO 26262 standard. Now, as we've seen, it is very quick and easy and also efficient in order to use TB Manager to achieve compliance with ISO 26262. Thank you for watching.